The L20 2.0 is the latest electric bike from bike maker Ongui. It offers 52 volts and a very low price. So today, like we always do, we are going to unbox it, put it together, take it for a spin, and then we're going to give it a grade on fit, form, and function. exploring a new way with the Angui L20 2.0. I tell you what, this, it's a thin bike, okay? It looks like it's been on a diet. The tires are not four inches, they're 20 by three inches right here. The frame itself is very thin, and as you can see, yes siree, it does fold in half as do the handlebars. Take a look at the motor right here. This is a 52 volt, 750 watt motor. Peak 1125 watts right there. That I am really looking forward to testing. We have a 52 volt, 13 amp hour battery with very easy access. You can take it right out. You do have to have the key in it and it does have to be turned into the correct position to power up the bike. And yes, there is a rear rack right there. This battery, by the way, gives you a 28 mile range on pure electric or an 84 mile range, which could almost be a record if you're on pedal assist. This bike will hold 264 pounds max. There are mechanical brakes right here, which I like. I mean, hydraulic are nice, but mechanical brakes are very, very easy to adjust. There's a Shimano seven speed gear system. Almost every bike I've tested has that right there. And we have a dual shock system. So we have shocks on the front. And if I believe right, there should be some give. Uh, let me just see under the seat. I don't know if you can see that, but my booty is making the seat go up and down. So there is a shock under right there, which is really, really fantastic. Other things we have, we have a front and rear light and a rear brake light, as you can see right here. This bike is very light, it weighs 63 pounds and they say that it will, it will fit a rider who is 5'4 to 6'2. So I'm like almost perfectly in the middle, 5'9 uh, and we're gonna give it a ride, okay? It also has a cadence sensor, a little stand for when you fold the bike in half and a front parcel shelf with the light. And for some reason, they want the light sticking out like that. I don't know why, that's just the way they want it. I don't know what I think about that. And of course, this stays still, the front shelf stays still, it's attached to the frame and the tire will move underneath it, okay? But I do like this. This is really, really pretty. It's a gorgeous LCD display. I have driven this a little bit. We're gonna take it for a spin now and give you our thoughts. Okay, I am very excited about this. Let's go ahead and give the L20 2.0 a little test drive. This looks like it's gonna be very, very comfortable. And of course, being a step through, I love that. I really, really do. We'll see what the suspension is like. We have pedal assist right here. We can go up one, two, three. We'll start out in three. We have the turn drive, the throttle right here, and we're in second gear. So let's just go <laughs> have a little bit of fun right here. Oh. <laughs> well, she's very peppy and I can stand up immediately. Look at this. Okay. That's 19, 20, almost 21 miles and we're in second gear. We'll do a quick brake check. Okay, the brakes are good. They're not, they don't stop the fastest, but I have tested much worse. Okay, so I'm gonna give the brakes kind of an average score right here. Here we go, we'll go down in pedal assist. Three, four, we're checking the gears, five, six and seven nice crisp all 
all the gears seem to be working up and down. I actually had <laughs> someone here in Tulsa come and purchase a bicycle from me and we discussed the gears and I hadn't tested the gears on that bike as much as I should have and she took it to a bike shop and they actually kind of adjusted uh, the derailleur, the high and the low stopping points and I probably should have tested that bike a little better but she was very very kind and she loves the bike so Mary if you're watching this is a shout out for you. This is a comfortable bike though. Okay, so this is the suspension test right here, just going up and down. I can tell you under my rear end, you can get a little bounce going, which is really nice. I love dual suspension bikes. There's a huge difference, a humongous difference in the way they ride over just a front suspension bike. So as you're looking for bikes, I highly recommend dual suspension. And if it's under the seat, I like that, I really do. Okay, this seems to be handling all of the bumps very, very well. And the brakes, okay, they do stop. They stop very, very well. We'll come down here and we will go up what I call Torque Hill. We're testing the torque, we're gonna put this well, we're already in our top gear right there. We'll go top pedal assist, three, four, and five. We come to a stop right here by the um, mailbox, and then it's throttle only up this hill, and anything above 12 miles an hour is a win. So we'll check out all this torque. What is the, uh, the max over? It's over 1,000 watt max. We'll put it up on the screen for you right there. So this is 16, 14. Come on, little girl. 14.0. We're coming up to the, the steepest part of the hill. 13.5, 13.1. Usually around this cactus, if you've been watching, it gets pretty steep. 13.8, so we're picking up speed. 14.0, 13 13.8, And we are using the battery. 13.4, 13.5. Uh-oh, see how this is flashing right now? We may have to go back and recharge the battery a little bit. 14.5, 15, 16, and now we can just pick up speed. We're at 21, 20, 21 miles an hour. Top speed is 28 on this but I think we need to charge the battery. Yeah, the battery's flashing, so we'll head back, we'll charge it up, and then we'll continue this little uh, test drive. But I gotta say, this is very maneuverable. The tires are thinner and smaller. They're 20 inches, as I mentioned, but this is a peppy bike. I'm gonna call it a medium-sized bike as well. And we'll let's hit the brakes real hard right here, close to home. Oh, okay, well those brakes took a hold really quickly. So we're gonna give the brakes a little higher score because of that. All right, let's recharge the battery. Okay, we are back with a fully charged battery and we're gonna give this bike another test at Torque Hill. Okay, because sometimes batteries behave a little bit differently when they are fully charged and at the end, of their cycle. So we're just going to go down this way. And once again, I'm loving the suspension. I really do. It's nice. Okay. This is what I'm talking about right here. So we're in top gear, come to a complete stop and it's pedal. It's throttle only baby. Are you ready? Here we go. 52 volt engine, 52 volt battery. 75 newton meters of torque, 18 miles, 17, 16.8, 16.6, 16 16.4. So I think this is a little faster than last time, if I remember right. 
coming up to the cactus, 15, seven, and then we're gonna pick up speed, 16. Oh yeah, this is way faster, I think, than last time, 15, seven. 15.7, so we're gonna call it a 15.7, which is well over the 12 mile an hour minimum accepted speed for Torque Hill. And now we're just gonna go full out and see how we do. It's very chilly today too, I need a jacket. But here we go, 21. She's cruising along just fine. Nice. Woo! And mechanical brakes. We'll shut this bike down so quickly. And it's a cadence sensor. So there's a kind of a different kind of a sensor on there, which is nice. Which means it doesn't always kick in when you're rounding the corners. There's the torque sensor and the cadence sensor. And see, even though I'm turning, whoa, here we go, 22, 23. Okay, this is nice. She does like to go. And here you can see, you can feel it when I pedal the bike and they're nice, there's a nice little cadence to it. Whether my feet are giving power, does that make sense? You know when you can turn, you can pedal and you're not actually helping the bike go? With a cadence sensor, that's what it's dependent upon is the cadence. Okay, not the pressure, not the, uh, the torque as you're pushing down but just the cadence. We'll go up here. So, here we go. There's the cadence sensor kind of kicking in. We can go down. How silent was that gear change? Whoa, I'm pedaling like crazy now. <laughs> okay. Woo. Yeah, let's get back up to top gear. We'll kind of max out our speed. Here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 28.7. And I got to make this turn right here. So you do have to pedal to get that top speed. But wow, 75 newton meters of torque on a light little bike like this and a light rider like me? Okay, one of those statements was true. Not the part about the rider. But now that she's out on the road, she likes to go. She, oh! There is a little bit of sound to the brakes, but it's no big deal. I'll come up here and We'll go in here and let this car pass. Or truck, it was a truck. Here we go. Okay, now this is also kind of a steep hill and we're gonna let the battery help us do this. I like the colors on the LCD screen. I'm, I'm trying to block the sun right now. This is 18, 17 going uphill. Okay, and because I'm just kind of steadily pedaling it's I'm not putting any pressure on the pedals I'm just making them go round and round the motor keeps working and then when I stop the motor kicks off and it's more of a, an immediate turn off and turn on than you get with a torque sensor which which I like this cadence sensor is nice and once again the way the handle folds right here you never have to worry about going forward and going over the bike. They designed that just right. Okay, there's a locking mechanism on the front and the hinges on the back, so it works just fine. Absolutely. We'll go over here and let this guy, we'll get out of his way. You know what? This would be a great bike if you want to get in shape and you just want movement on your knees you don't want to put a lot of pressure on your knees. Maybe you've had a knee replacement or something. This would be great because you can get that motion without putting any weight on your knee, like swimming, You're swimming in a pool. Oh, this is a good little bike. 
at this price point, I don't know if you can beat it. This is, a, it's a great little bike. Let's just let the throttle take us home. We're throttling on home, baby. Okay, as far as the price goes, they have this marked down from a thousand bucks, well, $999. And you can choose one of three colors, black, pink, and green. I love the black. I really, really do. It's a flat color. It's really, really gorgeous. For just a little bit of money, you get a lot of bike. As far as fit form and function fit, the way the bike came boxed, what it arrived like, the condition, how easy or hard it was to put together, there wasn't a whole lot to put much together, okay? It, it wasn't difficult at all. So as far as fit, I like it. We're gonna give it an A. Form is the way the bike looks. The fact that it's a step through, you know I love me some step throughs. We have a very nice rear parcel shelf right here. Super comfortable saddle or seat, also known as a seat. And the fact that it folds up into a very small size is fantastic. This, I think, it looks like a nose on a clown. I don't know why and have this thing sticking so far out. I would take this off. If this was my bike, I would take this off. I wouldn't use it at all. I would put the light right here where the fender attaches and then I would just kind of forget about it. No big deal there. Um, they do give you some zip ties and I haven't trimmed these off here yet, but the zip ties are to hold the power cord for the headlight right here on this front parcel shelf. But that's how the bike what they wanted me to put together the bike so we did i don't necessarily <laughs> like that so much um the handlebar is nice the grips are fine um but it's kind of thin in through here and so me that tells me that the bike you know looks like it would not hold a whole lot of weight it will but if it was just a little thicker it gives it a more beefy appearance and you would think it would be a little stronger. So we're gonna give it a B on form. Function, how well the bike performed. You got the torque, you've got the power, you've got the speed, 28 plus miles per hour is your top speed. And when you're using both of the brakes, this bike will come to a screeching halt. If you're using just one brake though, the front or the back, they need to be a little more firm, okay? So if you can use both at the same time, fantastic. But when I was riding along with my uh, Insta360 camera and trying to brake with one hand, I just didn't feel like there was a whole lot of stopping power. But once again, with both of them, no problem at all. So as far as function, we're gonna give it an A. You get all of the functions that you need. You get the headlight, the tail light, the cadence sensor, which is fantastic. Uh, just a couple of changes that I would make. So overall, we're going to give this a B plus, just this close to an A right there. But for the price, this is a great entry level bike. It's a low price. It's a good quality bike. And I think that you'll like it. And I know that your, you know what, your tushy will enjoy. Look at this give right here on the seat itself. Look at that. It is comfortable, so comfortable. And the fact that this will go up and down that's a bonus too, okay? So if you have not heard much about the Angui L20 2.0, you need to check it out. You need to order one. We'll have a link below because I guarantee you that you will like this bike, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. We're back with another electric bike review very, very soon. In the meantime, have a great day, okay? Bye-bye.